so hey you guys I am back with another video this is going to be a get ready with me story time video I have a memory that is just killing me right now and I have to share it with somebody um, I'm going to use this to cleanse my face I feel like it might be a little dirty yeah okay let's get my mirror fixed here okay that memory I'm talking about just let me start out by saying that I was a teenager that really didn't have any guidance my mom and dad worked my dad worked more than my mom and it always worked out that I was pretty much alone a lot of times and I didn't have any guidance as I said I was just literally just doing what I wanted so I was about 14 and I had my cousin over just so happens that the county fair was going on so my father had given us the money to go and um, I don't really remember who dropped us off but we were by ourselves she was a little older than me but not very responsible um, I'd say she's at least five years older than me and I was probably 13 or 14 at the time and I was literally literally going boy crazy I'm just going to use some coconut oil on some dry spots but I was literally just like boy crazy I'm not even joking like I liked boys and um, you know how it goes you know a little teenage girl going out to the fair and you know how when you're a teenager boys impress <laughs> okay well there was this boy and he was running the <clears throat> um, he wasn't a boy he was a man and he was running the tilt -a whirls well, in my little young mind, was it the Tilda Whirls? It was either the Tilda Whirl or the Scrambler. He ran one of the two, and I decided I had a crush on him. Okay, well, face forward. My cousin, not being the responsible older one, which she's probably about 18 decided she liked one of the boys too so I'm just kind of going along with her because I am with her and I'm not really sure where we left afterwards or our, our ride didn't come I'm not quite sure why we were there after the fire was closing but anyway, I'm getting off track here. I do that a lot if you if you hadn't noticed. Um, she decides she liked one of the boys too. So she, being the older one, went and set it up with them that we would meet them after the close of the fair. <laughs> well, At that point in my life, I was looking for anything to love. Like, I wanted to feel love, give love, which I felt like I didn't get any of because I was literally all alone all the time. And when my dad and mom were home, they were like sleeping. There was a point in my life when my mom, you know, she was um, 
a homemaker, but that was when I was lit, a smaller. And when I was a teen, she was always out working. She cleaned hotel rooms, and it was in a tourist town, and that town was like, I want to say about a 45-minute drive each way. So she was gone. And um, so anyways, my cousin arranged this meeting after the, the fire closed for these two boys. I can't say boys, they were men. Um, the one I liked was probably, I'm gonna say he's probably in his 20s. He was a big, heavy set dude. And I really liked the looks of him at that time. And um, so we met afterwards. We're walking through the field. You know, they have their little trailers and such that they live in on the road. So they took us back to where they were staying in these trailers with the other people. And I can remember walking into this trailer with a bunch of people sitting around like the, um, fumes or whatnot was really making me out of it. I was out of it. Just going to put it out there. I was out of it. <laughs> and um, I can remember um, going in this trailer, going, going to the back somewhere where they slept and um, I'm not sure, quite sure, we didn't spend a lot of time in this trailer. I think it was because I was like claustrophobic. I was very claustrophobic and it was small in our and there were like small bunks, some type of small bunk beds. So we went back out. So we were headed to the um, um, the bleachers, bleachers, whatever you call them, for the um, where they usually held the, the derbies and all the games, horse shows and whatnot. And we were just going to sit there, and, and we did sit there and talk a long time and looked at the stars and made out. I'm not going to lie. We made out and um, I remember looking up, seeing my cousin and the other guy heading into the um, box, the high box, you know, where the the narrator <laughs> where the narrator says I was like okay this this point I didn't have any fear whatsoever of these guys they seemed harmless enough and um so I said okay she's not she's not far away I'm fine so we're making out and here, uh, here I am, 14 years old. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a bit more than a man in the moon. And I'm making out with this guy. And um, he, you know, you know where making out goes sometimes. But, um, yeah. I remember it, it being fumbly and nothing happened because I chickened out. I got my mind about me that much that I was like, uh-uh, this is not happening. So I told him, no, you know. Actually, I'm not quite sure how far we got, but he was a very big guy and I remember um, physically, it was not happening, and um, they they called him Tank. That's what they called him. He was big dude, and it wasn't happening anyway. And I chickened out. I went and I told my cousin. I said we got to go. But during the time that 
I was being a stupid little teenager and with all these stars in my eyes I was thinking well well actually we were talking did I want to go with him did I want to go and travel with him and I would have went I was ready to go I was so in love I had stars in my eyes and um I just, I just, I knew it wouldn't happen. I knew, you know, I'd get caught leaving or running away, whatever you want to call it. So, I told him it would never work and I couldn't. I love my dad too much for that. But anyway, long story short, I went, I chickened out. I ran off this field fell in a hole I can remember him trying to help me get up out of the hole because like I said when I went into their trailer they were smoking something and um, it did affect me so afterwards I was thinking, Tasha, what is wrong with you? Because at that time, I was going to like the family planning, like with the health department. And I was playing around with birth control pills and stuff like that. And so I knew all about STDs and everything of that sort and I remember thinking afterwards just what are you doing what are you doing girl mm -hmm. I could have very well gotten something that night I'm not see I just didn't know I didn't know his character I didn't know him a bit more than the man in the moon but like I said I had these little teenage stars in my eyes like oh yeah girl I'm going and um I'm glad that I got my wits about me and I didn't stay there and let something like that happen and or leave and hurt my family you know my dad especially he's my or was my world he still is even though he's not here with me but I could have very well got pregnant or in trouble that night God was watching out for your girl here because there's so many so many things that could have happened and I didn't have any guidance like my cousin she was crazy like she didn't care she was just the same as me boy crazy but unfortunately when I left I kept going <laughs> I was on the road I was going I remember walking off the fairgrounds going to a payphone calling my older brother and saying please come and get me I know I'm late going home blah 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 but please come and get me and take me home and bless his heart he did he did come and he took me home after that night I went to the fire other years but I never done that to myself again because I realized those people are real people not superstars and there's no telling where they've been now I just want to say the boy this tank guy was very very sweet like and we really hit it off with a good conversation which is you know I needed that at that age because I felt like I wasn't getting any attention at home and nobody really sat down and talked to me I don't remember what all we chatted about but we did have a nice conversation and I would like to 
know who he is today, you know? I'd like to know where he is. Is he alive? Probably alive. <clears throat> he was a very nice guy. I can say that. I went away that night actually learning a few lessons. Your girl here straight up wanted to be on the road with a carny. <laughs> I was ready to go for a little while. I don't know if it was God or what turned my thinking around that night. But I am glad for whatever did. As I just didn't want to put that hurt on my dad. And I was young, 13, 14. You know, uh, life, you learn a lot of lessons by things that happen, and I really, really, I learned one that day, and um, that's my story of how I almost ran off with a carny, because your girl here was ready to go. I was ready to go. I'm kind of intrigued by the um, carny life, what? traveling and seeing all these places and whatnot but I know there's a lot of physical things that go along with it like tearing down and putting up rides stuff like that and your girl here physically couldn't do it plus I have my children and they're the number one most important right now and they will be forever <laughs> but maybe when they're out of the house I might go provided I'm still living I might go and check into doing some kind of something that requires a lot of travel and that carny Top, gypsy top life um so yeah thank you for watching and have a wonderful day